Hi, my name is Imai Kumar. I'm a senior solutions architect with AWS team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a .NET-based serverless application to perform sentiment analysis on a given text using Amazon Comprehend Service. Let's get started. All right, so this is the Lambda function that um, does the sentiment analysis. Let's take a look at the NuGet packages. Here, in addition to the default ones, I'm using Amazon Comprehend and Amazon Simple Notification Service NuGet packages. Um, other packages that you see here uh, come as default as part of the serverless template. The way you create a serverless template is through File, New, Project, and you can go to AWS Lambda and create AWS serverless application. You will get these templates when you install AWS um, Toolkit for Visual Studio. Now let's take a look at the controller class, which has one single post method that does all the job. It has a, um, a input parameter called common text, which will be passed through uh, the request body. We are invoking the detect sentiment async method on the Amazon Comprehend uh, client class by passing in the detect sentiment request uh, object, which has text and language code as input parameters. The text has the common text that got passed in through the request body, and we're here saying what language the text itself is. In this case, we are saying language code.en, which denotes English language. And once the sentiment result comes back, we are checking whether the sentiment value is negative. If the sentiment is negative, we are invoking the publish async method of the Amazon Simple Notification Service client class by passing in the publish request object, which has a subject. This subject will be um, uh, displayed as um, in the subject field if it's an email um, um, subscriber, and the message will be the uh, message body, and target ERN is the um, name of the um, SNS service that the uh, um, request is supposed to talk to. And that's it, that's the uh, code. Now let's go to and the serverless.template file, um, which is a serverless application model template file, which we use to uh, create the resources and, and we use to deploy uh, the function. Uh, here, um, I want to um, emphasize on uh, four important, uh, important um, 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 parts of the, of the template. One is the parameters, conditions, resources, and outputs. Parameters uh, takes, in this, in this template, I have added a should create SNS topic as a parameter. This is a type string, and it allows true or false as a possible values. And this I'm using uh, to, um, uh, to confirm whether um, the user wants the SNS topic to be created or not. This is being done by using this condition. And the conditions, um, I am, uh, the, we name this create SNS topic, and we are using an intrinsic function called equals, and we are checking whether the input value should create SNS topic is true or not. If it's true, the condition evaluates to, um, uh, evaluates to true. And under resources, we are creating two resources. One is the uh, function itself, which is a Lambda function. And uh, we, are, we are saying this is a serverless, uh, uh, AWS serverless function. And um, uh, we are mentioning what the handler is. And we are giving the runtime type. And these are all default values. I have not changed anything, the memory size and timeout. And uh, you also need to mention the resource, uh, sorry, the IAM role, the uh, serverless function needs to assume. Uh, it can be invoked through an API, and this is the path that the invocation is allowed, and the only method that is allowed is post, and we only have one post method. Let's say if, the, uh, if there is a GET request, the request will be rejected by the um, API gateway. And then the other resource that we create is obviously the SNS topic, and what's interesting here is we have a condition mapped to this, the same condition that we uh, had earlier. So this is mapped to create SNS topic condition. This SNS topic, uh, this resource will only be created if this condition evaluates to true. If I, um, if when I deploy this, if I give the value as false, the um, the SNS topic will not be created. 
So here other properties is we also uh, give the topic name as common notifier. This is the name of the topic and the display name uh, is this uh, com notif. This is there is a restriction of, uh, of maximum uh, length. So we have um, I have uh, made it shorter. So this is the subject, uh, the sender name that you will see if there is an email subscriber. The last is the outputs. This will return the name of the application that was created. The way you deploy this is go to Solution Explorer, right click, publish to AWS Lambda, and click on Next. And here you can see that the um, input uh, uh, is, is showing up here in this template. And I can say either true or false. I'm going to say false because I already have the SNS topic created. I click on Publish. And that's it. The application is on its way to deployment. All right, so we are on the AWS console and we are inside the Commons API function that we just deployed. The Commons API function uh, has an API gateway configured, so the API can be, the, the function can be invoked through an API gateway. As you can see, the uh, method is post. That's the only uh, type of method that is allowed. And there is no authorization here, and also the URL is slash API slash Commons. Um, I also want to so, show, before I get into the API Gateway, I also want to show how the uh, SNS, or Simple Notification Service, is also set up. I'm going to Services, I'm going to type SNS. Clicking Topics, under Topics, you can see that Comet Notifier um, uh, is already created. I'm going to click on this, and you can see that um, there is a subscription to my personal email address. You can create a new subscription by clicking on Create Subscription and uh, mentioning the, selecting the protocol that you want. In this case, it would be email, and then typing in an email address that you want the email to go to. Now let's get back to um, the API uh, and see uh, the API gateway. I'm clicking on the API gateway. The API Gateway um, interface will show all the um, um, integrations between the API Gateway and the Lambda function. Uh, you can see that it's a pretty straightforward a Lambda proxy type, and uh, here you can see the actual Lambda function that will be invoked as well, and the response is pretty straightforward. We're not doing any transformation here. So one of the cool things that I really like about API Gateway is the fact that you can test the API uh, right on the AWS console. To do that, I'm going to click, click on Test. I'm going to paste the um, content type and also say comment text equal to just uh, I'm uh, using this uh, uh, sentence so that it creates a negative sentiment and you can click on test here and there you go. Uh, you have HTTP 200 response. That means the post has been successful. You actually you have the actual res response from the um, uh, from the Lambda function as well. All right. So now I can already see my uh, email um, uh, coming in with a notification on the browser. Clicking on it, I can I'm clicking on the email and see the same text that I just uh, posted. Great. So in this video, we covered how to use .NET to perform sentiment analysis on a text through Amazon Comprehend Service. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.